We actually, I've gardened all my life, just, mm -hmm. um, and we actually moved to Wyoming, Lar or Laramie, Wyoming, near, near Laramie, because I had these really severe allergies. I needed to find some place that had clean air. And I'd kind of done it to myself, too. I used to use all, every pesticide I could find. I remember mm -hmm. at a, uh, a Crazy Day sale, I bought some snail bait that had been, like, off the shelves for years, and, and it worked great on my strawberries. But, you know, all that stuff builds up in some people's oh bodies, God. and I built yeah. an intolerance to chemicals. So so we moved out here. Stephen was, go to law was going to go to law school. And... Um, changed his mind, but we ended up out here, and Stephen got a job as a ranch hand down at the end of the road when this Wild Horse Acres used to be a regular ranch, and um, that was fun. We learned to live off the land and how to do without a lot of things, and so when we found this place and, and bought it, we were kind of prepared to live out in the country because it's... It's hard. We've seen so many people buy these acreages up here and they build their house and then they move in the next year because of the wind and all That's that. Right. So, oh, wow. Yeah, we're just crazy enough to enjoy it and all that. It's kind of interesting because when we moved out here, it was really hard to grow things. Uh, we lived in Centennial for a year and I cultivated a little garden by using coffee grounds from MRFs and whatever I could make soil. And we moved that down to the ranch house. And then from the ranch house, we moved probably three truckloads of soil that I'd made. And we make it with, you know, worms and composting and all that. So, so my health has really improved and um, just been gardening and raising critters ever since we moved out here. And when we moved to Wyoming, we were vegetarians. But everybody in Centennial would come to our door, it seemed like, and they'd bring us elk meat and, meat and bear meat and moose meat. And we didn't want to turn them down, and so we, we went ahead and ate it. But we decided if we're going to eat meat, we are going to raise our own. So uh, that's what we started doing when we moved out in the ranch. So we started raising our food probably ever since we lived out in the country. I pretty much raised all the vegetables that we eat during the summertime. And then I freeze enough that we don't have to buy greens during the winter time. So we'll still find ourselves buying broccoli and cauliflower or something like that, mm -hmm. just a little bit different at the store. We enjoy being able to eat our own food just because we know what's in it and, and what it's grown in and it hasn't had any pesticides or anything mm -hmm. like that. So. Yeah. so, you know, in retrospect, when, when I got sick when was 30 years ago, it was probably doing myself a flavor because I, I eat so much better. We our lifestyle is just, it's um, a choice we've made. That uh -huh. One of my goals is I I would love to have interns or somebody come out, students that, that I could teach them how I've done this. It's um, cause it's been a lot of work and a lot of people say, oh, you just can't grow things. And my neighbor to up the road, um, she's. They've got better soil, so they can just plow out a place. And she has a garden, but it's not sheltered at all. And it's, she can just grow minimal crops, you know, potatoes, carrots, that sort of thing. And it was really it made me feel good this year. She looked at my garden. She said, "You know, you should be teaching people and showing people how to do this." Very well. It's interesting. What one thing we do talk with almost everybody is about the myth of that you're not able to grow anything mm -hmm. here in, in Laramie or in Albany County. And uh, I mean, we just prove it wrong all yeah. the time, but it really is in people's minds. So well, we did learn a lot from the locals, but um, just guesswork trying, you know, try one thing one year. And you know, like tomatoes is something I just could never really completely give up on. And this year, I finally was rewarded. I, I mm -hmm. found a way to grow them that, uh, that's just been, we've had lots of tomatoes. Our, I don't know if you noticed, but our mudroom back there is full of all of our tomato pots and <laughs> herb pots and things like that. So so that was really gratifying because I, I was one of those that say, yeah, you just can't grow tomatoes in Wyoming. And so, 
I'm sure if I hadn't done all my gardening and all my critters, I'd probably still be sick. I'd probably mm -hmm. be locked into a little house, being afraid to go out and be exposed right. to chemicals. And well, I'm pleased that I'm where I'm at, you know. But it's just health is it's a it's a spiritual, psychological, physiological, all three of those things tied together. So. I firmly believe that. So getting out there and digging the soil is very therapeutic. Mm -hmm. You know, wrangling chickens and chasing goats. <laughs> All those things.